Hi! Welcome to Virtual CB1A. This is Ms. Rena and for today's video discussion, we are going to focus on half-angle formulas. Okay, so I have here the copy of all the half-angle formulas that we are going to use in this chapter. Mas marami siya kaysa dun sa double-angle formulas natin before. So, double angle formulas, meron lang tayong lima. This time, for the half angle formulas, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Tapos, dalawa pa yung ano, uh, possible na equation for cotangent squared theta. So, meron tayong 10. Halos. Oh my God. So, let us prove how some of the half-angle formulas are derived. So, show natin yung solution or show natin yung proof for some of these identities. Yung mga madadali lang, syempre, para hindi na uubos yung oras natin. So, we will only focus on ito. Yan. Sine squared 1 half theta is equal to 1 minus cosine theta over 2. So, dito muna tayo magsimula sa alam na natin na formula for the double angle formula. So, we know that cosine 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 or cosine 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. But what if we divide 2 theta. Uh, we divide the angles by 2. Okay. So, ito, 2 cosine 2 theta natin dito will be cosine 2 theta divided by 2 which is equal to, pag dinivide natin yung angle dito sa left-hand side, dapat i-divide din natin yung angle sa kabilang side. We will have 1 minus 2 sine squared theta divided by 2. Okay? So, you will be left with 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, cosine theta na lang yung maiiwan. We have cosine theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared. Um, theta over 2 is 1 half theta. Okay? Now, ano yung susunod dating gagawin? So, let's interchange their sides in the equation. So, ito, using addition property of equality, ay i-transfer natin sa left. At itong si cosine ay i-transfer naman natin sa right. We have here, itong negative 2 sine squared, 1 half theta, will be positive na. 2 sine squared, 1 half theta, will be equal to 1. Nandun pa rin si 1. Pero si cosine theta, since nilipat na natin siya sa kabila, using subtraction property of equality, this is going to be 1 minus cosine theta na lang. Yan, lumalapit na tayo <laughs> sa katotohanan. This is the right-hand side of our equation. Sine squared 1 half theta. We still have 2 on this side of the equation. So, we have to divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, you will be left with sine squared 1 half theta is equal to 1 minus cosine theta over 2. Ayan. So, equal na sila. Ito yung pinanggalingan yan from the double angle formula. Now, dito tayo sa kabila. Itong cosine squared theta, ito naman yung gagamitin nyo. But, still, almost the same lang yung procedure for the sine squared 1 half theta. Dito naman tayo sa baba. Ayan. Copy ko lang to sa next page. Hmm. 
Nasaan tayo? Page 2. Dapat page 3 na. Page 3. Clear natin si board. Ayan. So, ang uh, i-prove naman natin ay ito. Ayan. Sobrang dali lang ng proving nito. From here, we have sine squared 1 half theta is equal to 1 minus cosine theta over 2. We know that sine squared 1 half theta is actually equal to sine 1 half theta squared. Kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng sine squared theta kasi ini-square natin yung buong trigonometric function. So dito, if we want to eliminate the square root and we only want sine 1 half theta, then we have to get the square root of both sides. We will be left with, so tanggal na yung square natin dito, tanggal na rin yung ating radical. Matitira na lang ay sine 1 half theta equal to, pag kumuha na square root, either you will get a positive value for the root o kaya negative value for the root. Dalawa yan. Parang pag kumuha ka ng square root of 4, it is either positive 2 or negative 2. Positive 2 squared is 4, negative 2 squared is 4. So, ganun lang din yung idea niya dito. That is why it is important to write positive negative before our radical. 1 minus cosine theta over 2. Now, this is how we get this equation, 3.31. Okay? Okay. I hope it was clear. Kasi mag-move na tayo dun sa example 3.15. Ang problema natin, we have to prove the identity that second squared one half theta is equal to two second theta over second theta plus one. If you will take notice here, wala tayong theta. Wala tayong theta. Ah, wala tayong theta. Wala tayong second. Wala tayong second dun sa half angle formulas natin. So, ano yung pwede natin gamitin na idea? We will settle with or we will be using the idea that second theta is equal to the reciprocal of 1 over cosine theta or the reciprocal of the cosine theta. Ayan. So, dito, pwede natin gamitin yung cosine function. Ito. Ayan. Okay. So, if we have here second squared, one half theta, this is actually equal to 1 over cosine squared 1 half theta, right? Which is also equal to the reciprocal nitong value niya dito. Meron kang 1 plus cosine theta over 2, ba? Or si second squared 1 half theta ay equal sa ano yung reciprocal nito? So, 1 times yung pinagbaligtad. Or simply, ito, yung formula natin dito, baligtad rin yung lang yung numerator and denominator niyan. You will have 2 over 1 plus cosine theta. Okay? Okay. So, ano yung susunod natin na gagawin? We are not after the trigonometric function 
cosine. So, dapat matanggal natin si cosine. Paano natin siya matatanggal? So, we have here second squared, 1 half theta is equal to 2 over 1 plus sin equals si cosine theta. E di sa reciprocal ng second theta or 1 over second theta. So, let's write this as 1 over second theta. Ano yung susunod natin gagawin? We are going to combine 1 and 1 over second theta. So, 2 over, so dito sa baba, we have second theta. 1 times second theta is second theta plus 1. Okay? Next, ano yung rule natin sa division of fraction? So, sa division of fraction, we change the operation to multiplication, pero reciprocal na siya nung divisor or denominator. So, balik na rin natin yung denominator niya. Instead of second plus, second theta plus 1, yun nasa taas, mapupunta na siya sa baba. Second theta plus 1. And then, ang mapupunta sa taas ay si second theta. Now, let's multiply. 2 times second theta is 2 second theta. And on the denominator, since may denominator to na 1, and anything multiplied by 1 is equal to itself, we have second theta plus 1. Okay? Now, we have proven that the identity second squared 1 half theta is really equal to 2 second theta over second theta plus 1. Ang dali lang mag-prove, di ba? Kaya-kaya niya yan. So, let's move forward to the next example. Teka, nasan ako? Half angle. Aba, isa lang pala yung pinapahanap na example for the half angle formula. Swerte nyo ang iksi nung ano natin. Iksi ng discussion natin. So, this is going to be the end of our discussion for the half angle formula. And, on the next video discussion, we will focus on the other identities. Ito. Rami rami siya, no? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening and see you next time. Bye.